So in today's video, we have got a brand new transfer room episode, and we got probably the biggest leak in football that's happened in a long time. That's what I'm going to say. Now, this is a rumor episode. We're going to look at six players today in this episode who are rumored to be going to brand new clubs in January. Some of the biggest players in the world, of course, to try to always feature a big player. But the first thing we're going to mention in this video is the fact that Coutinho to Barcelona. Now, I featured this one for a while and no, I'm not doing all the graphics for this one. I'm not doing all the slides for it. I'm just going to talk to you about a little leak that's happened. Now, I'm going to put a screenshot on the screen, of course, of this Nike sort of leak that's happened, all right? So, they're saying basically shop the Barcelona kits, Coutinho style. So they're already advertising Barcelona kits with Coutinho on it already. So if that isn't a little leak, I don't know what is. So Nike, obviously big sponsors. They sponsor Barcelona, I believe. They might even sponsor Coutinho personally. I don't really know. But it's pretty insane that they are already trying to sell Barcelona kits with Coutinho on it. That's pretty insane. So what do you think of this leak, guys? Do you think this is true? Do you think this is just a complete accident or a troll? Or what do you think about this? Anyway, I just want to talk about that before we start this video. I just want to get your opinions on it. Now, it's pretty insane stuff first player we got and also guys of course as always if you like this transfer series drop a like and thumbs up down below it's a very early video for me today it's new year's eve i'm making this video early because later on yeah, I might not be about. I might not be about. Now, we actually have Tossin to Everton. Now, I don't really know. Is that how you pronounce his name? I don't really know. But we all know that Everton need a striker. Sam Allardyce has come out and said they are looking for a striker. But they are in, I would say, the last stages to agree this transfer with this striker. Now, Everton officials are in Turkey currently to wrap up the deal before arrivals actually act upon him too. So, Everton have sent, you know, someone to Istanbul to complete the signing of, how do I pronounce it? Senk Tossin, after Sam Allardyce expressed concern for that the... 25 million pound deal could be hijacked by rival European clubs. So Everton have agreed financial terms of Besiktas for their leading goal scorer and offer the 26 year old a four and a half year contract which is obviously pretty big to move to the Merseyside on the 1st of January. Now that is obviously tomorrow. That's a very very big day because a lot of the transfers are going to go through. So if you want me to do a confirmed video tomorrow then I can do that if you want it. So yes looks like Everton are getting their striker which is obviously very very good. Very decent for them. There's someone they definitely need but they're going to get contest or competition if you like from loads of other teams in Europe, so good luck to them if they get him. Now, for weeks now, we've been talking about, you know, Sanchez, Ertzl leaving, but we're going to go away from them because it's a little bit boring, isn't it? Like, we're talking about them all the time. So, we got a replacement for them, if you like, already. And Arsenal manager, Arsene Wenger, has already revealed that they want to sign Zaha, okay? So, obviously, Wilfred Zaha. So, that's right. They want to sign him. Now, they wanted to sign him previously before he went to Man United. They've been interested in him probably for a long time. But, obviously, when he went, when he went to United, they lost their interest. But, they want to get the 25-year-old now. They want to get him back. Now, it says here, Arsene Wenger has settled on Crystal Palace winger Wilfred Zaha as an ideal replacement for Alexis Sanchez, according to reports. Couldn't really get my words out there, could I? So this is pretty insane. Obviously, this is big, big stuff. I mean, they're already trying to find replacements for him. They're already trying to do loads of different stuff. So yes, Arsenal making replacements. They're already going for Zaha. Who's going to be the third player in this episode then? Let's get into it. Now, this one's probably a bit silly season, if you like. Probably something that's probably not going to happen. But three hours ago, loads of articles are reporting it. So I'm going to report it, you know, Paolo Dybala to Man United. Apparently, Man United, okay, apparently have been given a lot of hope to sign this guy because apparently Paul Pogba is going to play a big role in trying to lure Dybala to Old Trafford. Now, we did this with Lukaku, obviously, and obviously Dybala being his ex-teammate from when he was at Juventus, but I'm not really sure that is going to make it happen in January, maybe for the future, but I don't know about January, to be honest. Manchester United plan to deploy Paul Pogba to help secure the transfer of Paolo Dybala, according to reports. The Juventus striker has been identified as an ideal signing to bolster the club's attack and a bid in the region of £90 million pounds is apparently expected in January. So 90 million pounds. I mean, that's big, big money. Man United is supposed to be signing this guy in January for that sort of crazy, crazy fee. So, I mean, Man United in the last few games not been playing too well. And this could actually make him, you know, think, actually, we do need another player. And it might be Dybala, but 90 million pounds of money United are spending. Yeah, you've got to be thinking we probably should be doing a little bit better this season. But saying that, we are second. Oh, no, we're not second. I think we're third now. But either way, Dybala, 90 million pounds. Is that going to solve all United's problems in a minute? Now, what makes this even and worse in a minute is that, you know, we've got Ibrahimovic out for a month being injured and Lukaku out for a few weeks now with head injury as well. So, you know, realistically, Marcus Rashford is the only out and out striker. Even he's been playing on the wing. So, I don't know what United are going to do. But anyway, silly season started. Paolo Dybala, United. I, I just don't think so. So, next player, we've got a player leaving Man United and he played, um, you know, 
He played yesterday for United against Southampton. He got his first start in a little while, I believe. And it really, really didn't go to plan. He looked like a guy with completely no confidence and someone that maybe he's already accepted he's going to be leaving. I don't really know. But anyway, Henrik Mkhitaryan to Inter Milan. Obviously, Inter Milan, the big spenders, doing pretty well this year. And looks like they want to sign Mkhitaryan. Arsenal also apparently interested in this guy. I featured that a few weeks ago. Now, it says here Inter Milan are carefully following Henrik Mkhitaryan's situation at Man United, according to Sky in Italy. United boss Jose Mourinho confirmed in November that the army an international attacking midfielder, that was a bit of a mouthful, had been dropped because he was unhappy with the players' performances. Apparently, Sky and Italy believe Mkhitaryan is one of the number of players that Inter are looking to sign, including De La Feo from Barcelona and Pastore from PSG. So they want to get quite a few players in, uh, obviously, January. So yes, I mean, Mkhitaryan looks like he could be leaving, and it's going to be a shame because we didn't see his full potential, did we? We saw glim like glimpses, if you like, but not really the full thing. Now, for the next player, it's once again silly season, all right? Now, I feature a few rumours in this, in these series that I believe will happen and some that are just, you know, being reported out there, but they're blatantly not going to happen. But in newspapers and stuff, they want to report it. They want to get, I don't know, whatever they want to get out of it. But anyway, the next player is going to be someone I've already talked about briefly at the start of the video, Coutinho, and it's not to Barcelona, it's to a different team. A team that want to come in and snatch him late. A team that, you know, our biggest rivals in Liverpool, if you like, this Manchester United. Now, they want to make an audacious bid, apparently, to sign him last minute, according to, you know, articles like The Express. Now, I I think this is really, really silly because I think, you know, he's always going to go to Barcelona. It's just obvious. He's always had his heart set on Barcelona. To think that Mourinho is going to try and snatch him off Barcelona last minute and make him go from Liverpool to Manchester United, I just think it's just ridiculously ambitious that it just won't happen. Now, as she says here in the Don Ballon, which is, I think, a Spanish outlook, um, apparently Barcelona signing Coutinho may actually become more difficult to achieve as Man United have entered the race to sign the Brazilian. Now, it says here the Spanish outlook claims Jose Mourinho is keen to add the attacker to his squad as the Red Devils look to close the gap between themselves and Manchester City. I think that gap's pretty damn big right now. PSG apparently also said to be interested in signing 25 role, although Coutinho himself continues to have his heart set on a switch to Barcelona, which we all know. So there we go, absolute silly season stuff. I mean, stuff I just don't think is going to happen. Coutinho to Man United, I mean, no. Barcelona is going to be the place, but have Nike already announced that? I don't really know. Last of all, we've got a player now who looks like he's always been set to leave this club. He nearly did in the summer last year. He didn't. He pulled out of it at the medical for some reason. Ross Barkley to Chelsea. Now, Tottenham is supposed to be interested in this guy. I think his heart is definitely set on leaving. He's going to move eventually. But it says here, Chelsea are leading the race to sign England international Ross Barkley from Everton, according to the Daily Telegraph. Now, Conte was hoping to bring Barkley, 24 years of age, to the Sanford Bridge this summer. Last summer, sorry, but launched a last, what was it? Launched a deadline day move to secure a signature, but which fell through. Apparently, Barkley was interested in the switch, but decided to turn Chelsea down as he wanted to regain his fitness before making a major decision over his future. Pretty interesting. Now, according to this article, he's yet to play a game during the 2017-18 campaign, but will be out of contract in the summer. So Chelsea might actually wait and get him in for free in the summer, or Everton might want to try and get some sort of money for him and get rid of him in January. Either way, Ross Barkley is not going to be an Everton player forever, is he? Let's be let's be honest about it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and thumbs up down below. I've struggled to make this video today. I've made it really early. My voice just seems really weird. I can't seem to sentence anything properly together. But, you know, I, I just... I grinded it out, if you like. Last of all, I'm going to give my final thoughts and opinions on all the transfers. So let's smash them right now. Possum, or whatever your name is, to Everton. I mean, that's going to happen, I think. You know, experts, officials, whatever. They're out in, obviously, Turkey now. I think that's going to happen. We've got Wilfred Zaha to Arsenal. They were interested in him in the past. Obviously, Wenger admitted that a few years ago. And they want to try and get him again now. I think that's a 50-50. I really do. Dybala to, obviously, United. I think that's like a 5% chance of happening in January. But in the summer, that may be a different ball game. I think eventually he might come, but now, January, not really. Mkhitaryan into Milan, that looks like a guy who's just got no confidence and wants to leave. It's a really, really big shame, to be honest, but you know, we all saw it come. Yeah, I can see that happening. Coutinho to Man United, I think there's like not even 1% chance of that happening, but, you know, silly season, whatever, I keep saying that in this video, not gonna happen. Then we've got Ross Barkley at Chelsea. I mean, I do think that's gonna happen. They haven't played this year, and I think that's gonna happen. And then last but not, or not least, if you like, we've got the Coutinho to Barcelona, nice Leak. So yes, I do think he will go to Barcelona and I don't know if he'll go in January But I think he definitely will go one day if it's not the summer or if it's not January It will be the summer is what I'm trying to say But the fact Nike have come out and they've done this leak or whatever now This isn't the first time this has happened. I remember Adidas did this with someone not too long ago too I can't really remember who if you guys remember who let me know in the comment section down below I'm trying to think who it was but uh, was it was it Bale when they announced in Real Madrid? 
No, I don't know. I really don't know, actually. That's a good point. But the fact, you know, one of the biggest companies, one of the biggest sponsors of football in general in the world have come out and, you know, added this to their site. Yes, it may be a mistake, but, well, if it was a mistake, obviously, which it is because they've removed it, it's still got, they've still got, got to get that story from somewhere. They don't just make a mistake out of nowhere. It's obviously was there. They've just accidentally published it and they shouldn't have published it, I guess. But fair play to Barcelona anyway. I mean, they're going to get their guy and fair play to Liverpool because they're going to get maximum money for him. And hopefully they are not going to lose him. They've still got Mane, Coutinho. No, not Coutinho. Mane, obviously Firmino and obviously Salah, which is banging it. So hopefully they can still be all right without him. But in terms of percentages, I think it's 80% chance he could go to Barcelona in January. If not, I'm going to go for a big fat whopping 100% in the summer. If that January transfer doesn't happen. But yeah, it's pretty, I think it's, it's pretty concrete right now. Anyway, guys, have a good New Year's. Obviously, be safe. Take it easy. Peace.